Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, June 15th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a remarkable sculpture. This is by the artist Anish Kapoor, who was born in India, studied in Britain. And this particular sculpture is called Ascension. It can be found in the Basilica of San Giorgio in Venice. It was installed in 2011. As you can see, this brilliant sculptor uses different mediums to display the transcendent becoming material. There are these moments in our lives, in all of our lives, if we are awake and watching, when the divine becomes apparent to us in the natural world, either in things made by human hands or more often often in the creation itself. Here is an example of someone who is able to harness smoke. Smoke in a column coming down from heaven to show us the way material things can point us towards the divine. Lift our hearts. Where does heaven end and the earth begin? Perhaps there really is no boundary or barrier other than our own perception. We continue today in the Gospel of Matthew with the beautiful Gospel story about the Transfiguration. Jesus chooses three disciples Peter, James, and John, and takes them up a mountain. And there, the transcendent becomes apparent to them in material things. And he becomes white, blinding, light. He just turns into light. And they see Moses and Elijah on either side. And they're so frightened, they fall down. In Matthew's gospel, they're so afraid that Jesus stops being transfigured comes back to his fully human form and touches them and says, get up, don't be afraid. Get up, don't be afraid. And then he takes them down the mountain and on the way he says, hey, don't tell people about this until have died and risen. So he already knew what was happening. I think we can't handle much of God. God has to titrate the divine self to us because we're so small and so frightened. Jesus showed them about as much as they could possibly handle neurologically, spiritually, psychologically. And then he had to touch them and reassure them that he was still also there with them as a person. No wonder God had to become incarnate. How are we possibly going to see God? <laughs> I tell my congregation I think our brains would explode and I really do believe that. What happened on that mountain? The veil was pulled back just a little for those three. They could see those things that are beyond human comprehension. And in that lack of understanding, they were overwhelmed and afraid. So if you find yourself afraid sometimes when you look up at the stars or look out at the ocean and think about the magnitude of this universe, that's a good thing. But remember Jesus' words, get up, don't be afraid, I'm here. Let us pray. Almighty God, we really don't know why you love us so much. We're so small, we're so silly and ignorant. We fight with one another. We crucify to you, and yet you love us. And we thank you for that love. And we thank you for the glimpses of the kingdom of heaven that you give us. I will pause and let you speak aloud the things that you're thankful for.
We ask you, Lord, to bless the sick and the suffering and those who mourn. I ask you to speak aloud the names of people who need prayer in your life. Thank you, Almighty God, for bringing us here this morning. We ask you to give the world your peace. We ask you to help us to be agents of peace, agents of transcendence, doers of good in this world. Increase in us generosity, kindness, and love. Help us to awaken to the great gift of the life that you've given us and to use every moment to your glory and honor. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, who touched us and told us not to be afraid. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.